stop scrolling if you want to learn CBC for anemia in one minute. Step one, look for HB. And to remember the normal values of HB, I have a trick for you. Rule of 11, 12, 13. 11 for pregnant women, 12 for women and 13 for men. Step two, when the HB is low, the next thing you should look for is MCV. Simply size of the RBC. In it normal ranges from 80 to 100 FN. If it is low, it is called as microcytic anemia. If it is high, it is called as macrocytic anemia. And if it is normal, it is called as normocytic anemia. Step 3. If the MCV is low, it can be due to iron deficiency anemia, thalassemia, and any anemia of chronic diseases. So, first rule out any chronic disease present. And iron deficiency anemia usually presented with chylonchia and angular stomatitis. And the RDW will be more than 15. And to confirm this, you can go for iron profile. Thalassemia is seen in younger age group and the major index that is MCV divided by RBC will be less than 14. To confirm this, you can go for HB electroporosis. If the MCV is high, it can be due to vitamin B12 and folate deficiency, liver disorders and in pernicious anemia. So first rule out any liver disease present. Second, vitamin B12 and folate deficiency usually present with neurological symptoms such as tingling sensation, mood disturbances, etc. So confirm it with serum B12. Ask the patient for the history of any gastric surgery or any long-term chronic gastritis to rule out pernicious anemia. If the MCV is normal, that is normocytic anemia, it can be due to blood loss or some bone marrow disorders. So the next thing you should look for is reticulocyte count. Reticulocyte count will be increased in case of blood loss and decreased in case of bone marrow disorders.